All right, you guys, January sewing plans. January is always one of those months where the sewing plans are a little bit, I don't know if it's more difficult for me to put them together, but it's definitely a lot more thought goes into putting them together. I'm like more conscious of money, I'm more conscious of time, more conscious of goals and all that kind of stuff. So when it comes to January plans, I feel like <laughs> of all the months, this is the one where I am the most like strict and really try and only plan for what I actually think I can sew this month. And if you've been following me for any bit of time, you know that that is very difficult for me, if not impossible. So um, I put a lot of thought into what I wanna sew this month, what is achievable, what I can actually accomplish at the end of the month, the plans match up with the makes. And I'm gonna try and do that all year long. Um, all right, so first things first, I kinda wanna get caught up on a lot of the things that I had already bought fabric and patterns for at the end of last year before I went on my little like impromptu hiatus. Um, so that means catching up with Sew Together, um, which I didn't sew October's pattern or November's pattern. Then I didn't do a pattern in December because of everything that was going on. And now we already have January's pattern picked out as well. So that's gonna be three different projects. The first one is the Be Mine cardigan from Ellie and Mac. And um, it's this really cute open front cardigan that has this little like gathered seam. It's kind of like a cardigan and a dress, had a baby, um, but it's cut up the front. And I have this like really pretty, I don't know, denim-y colored blue uh, jersey. This is the perfect weight for this. Perfect weight for the weather that we have here um, to be able to have a little layering piece that I can throw on. My only concern with using this is that it's a similar color as denim. And that's probably what I would be wearing this with a lot. But I'm gonna try and think outside the box when it comes to styling this cardigan. Um, and maybe reach for black jeans or like even today, <laughs> you can't see. Um, and so I think that that would be really cute. I wish you could see them together. Hold on. Burgundy, blue. <laughs> um, so just try and like think outside the box rather than just reaching for jeans all the time. Even with like black leggings and a tunic underneath, I think this could be a really, really cute layering piece. So LA Mac Be Mine Cardigan, already have it printed. Uh, the pattern. I already had it printed and sent to me. I already had the fabric, just needed to cut and sew. It's a knit, gonna throw it on my serger and we're gonna be done with that in a day. Um, the next one was the Style Arc Freya. All right, so for the Freya, it is like a tunic that's meant to be voluminous and like a little bit boxy. Like you're gonna make it out of something that's got a little bit of weight to it and not very drapey. So good things would be like lightweight ponte, um, or I have this boucle knit that is super cute that I would love to have <coughs> as like a little sweater. The Freya also has like a drapey neckline. So you can just imagine this, super cute, super cozy. I imagine seeing something like this design like in a Banana Republic type of thing. It's a bit of a basic with a twist, which you guys know is like my go-to style. So. This boucle came from Style Maker Fabrics forever ago. They don't have it anymore, but you know, all their fabrics are super high quality. So I love it, I've kind of been hoarding it, kind of waiting for the perfect thing. I think when I first got it, I was gonna make like a cardigan coat thing, but I think I'll get a lot more wear out of it made into this um, like tunicky type of top that has a little bit of black in it. So you can wear it with leggings, black uh, pants, um, I have plans to make like a black corduroy skirt, not this month, but down the road, I have fabric for it. Um, so you could do like a front top type of thing. I just think it's gonna be very wearable as a top, um, more so than like a sweater slash layering piece. So that's what the boucle knit is gonna be for the Style Arc Freya. So that was October, sew together, November, sew together. January, sew together is the J. Lee Emily um, pattern similar to the style arc Freya, but this one is meant to be made from really lightweight sweater knits. It's supposed to have a ton of drape. It's supposed to be oversized and then drape and fall close to your body. I'll be talking to you a lot more about this pattern in an upcoming video where we'll go over um, ideal fabric choices, fit, um, the pattern ease. I'm getting a lot of questions about that on Instagram. So we'll be talking about that. January's sew together pattern is always going to be free. 
So the Jaylee pattern is completely free, um, cost you nothing. I'm always using uh, fabric for my stash. So technically this is a free pattern. So I'm excited about that, a free make, a free garment. And I pulled this out of my stash. I have used part of it. I think I used part of this as the binding for a waffle knit uh, pajama set which means that it probably came from fabric.com a long time ago. Um, but it's just like a little kind of, I don't know, it's brushed on one side and then the other side is just kind of like silky. I don't know what type of knit it is, but you can see lightweight drapey. So this is going to be an oversized top with a ton of drape in it. Does it have, I think it has neckline. Yeah, it does have like a turtleneck, but it's very drapey. Um, so boxy silhouette, boxy little sleeve, easy, easy to sew. And, um, I think I have just enough of this fabric to make the top from. Um, so again, this is going to be like really great to pair with leggings, <coughs> really great to throw on, even with like sweatpants or, you know, something like that. It's going to be oversized, casual, um, and even though it's like a blue color and I don't love wearing blue with denim, um, we've got the red pants, we've got black pants, we've got white pants would be super cute with this as well. So I, th I think a lot of options, I just have to stop always thinking that jeans are the only solution. Okay, so I've got those three things to get caught up on. And then I had such high hopes. I had so many plans, you guys, <laughs> you have no idea. Um, for December is the, um, every year is the red dress project where you literally just make a red dress and you post it. I think prizes are given out, the whole thing. So I had gotten all my fabric and a pattern to make the red dress, but clearly I didn't sew anything. So I'm going to be doing that in January because I do think this is still super wearable, even though the red dress project, a lot of people make stuff that's like suitable for the holidays. Uh, my red dress idea was a lot more casual because I'm just like a casual holiday person. Like I've never, ever gone to like a holiday gala or anything like that, even like not even like fancy dinners. I tend to avoid what everybody else does <laughs> for the holidays because I just get overwhelmed with like all of the people and all of the anticipation. And I just would rather like just go the opposite way and be super casual, not travel, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, during the last McCall sale, <clears throat> I did pick up a few patterns. Actually, I'll do a pattern haul here shortly, but I got McCall 7967 super cute fitted dress i love view d the subtle little bubble sleeve but long sleeve right love that and i think the one that she's wearing view a is the same as no it's not a has a puff sleeve and then also like it's basically like b with a longer band um so i want to do d <coughs> can you see d there you go little puff sleeve long sleeve really fitted you know there's no it's knit so there's not going to be any darts or pleats or anything funky um and so i got this rib knit from joanne back in late november mid to late november um technically a red right um but like much more my color palette i don't know red red looks good on me too but i like this more purpley maroon red um and then I think I must have been talking to you guys about how I was a little bit nervous that it was going to be like, because it's so close fitting that it's going to be a little bit like revealing, you know, showing like lumps and bumps. And I hate shapewear. I don't want to wear any of that. And some of you suggested that I guess Mimi had Mimi G had said something about it or I don't know. And then I went to Goodwill and was looking at kind of like knit close fitting dresses and they all had this too. So they use like a power mesh type thing, a lining inside to help kind of keep everything in. And then the knit dress kind of just flows on top. Well, Joanne didn't have power mesh, but they did have this really beautiful like lingerie mesh. So pretty, right? And it's my skin tone, you know, and it has plenty of stretch to it, but lots of great recovery. So, and it just feels really good on the skin. It's very soft because it's meant for lingerie. You know, it's not that itchy, like, oh God, like nylon-y type stuff. I'm sure this is made from something not man, something man-made, um, but it's just really soft. I thought it would feel really good on my skin. It's really pretty. So it would look really pretty on the inside of the fabric. You can see like one layer would look like, <coughs> would look like that. 
still really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna try out the power mesh situation. Um, so again, super, super simple design, another knit. I don't have a single woven <laughs> um, planned for this month um, just because I'm going for catching up, things I know I can accomplish, and that right now is quick and easy projects where I already have the fabric, already have the pattern. So those are my plans for January. I'd love to hear what you are going to be working on if you are participating in what is now Sew Together 22. Um, let me know that as well. Free pattern in January. Jaylee, Emily, I'll link it in the description box for you guys. Um, uh, we have a lot of really great patterns. Um, I've already got February and March picked out. And uh, yeah, we just love to know what you guys are working on. So let me know in the comments section below and I will see you all very soon. Bye.